Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. Hi everybody, uh, this actually is a question from a viewer and uh, it's a really good one. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. The question is, uh, I have a right triangle, I know the legs 10 and 18, or excuse me, 8.8 .8, and I do know this hypotenuse here of the entire large triangle. Uh, even if I didn't, I could use the Pythagorean theorem to find out that it's 13.2. But the question is, what is the altitude? Do I have enough information to figure out this altitude if I just know the legs and maybe even the hypotenuse? Turns out you do and what we're going to do is use um, the leg theorem which is a geometric mean idea. Okay and the idea is let's go ahead and take this leg right here 10. Okay. Um, the theorem says that any one of the legs, let's go ahead and grab the 10 one, is the geometric mean between, so geometric mean means that in this proportion I put them diagonally across from each other. Now I go lower left, upper right. It could be actually be in the other two positions, but consistently I try to do it that way. 10 and 10 will go right there. And then I am going to take, well the rest of the theorem says that the leg is the geometric mean between the near part of the hypotenuse now I don't know, I know the whole thing's 13.2, but let's go ahead and just assign a temporary variable to that. If this part from here to here is y, I know the whole thing is 13.2, so this other part has got to be 13.2 minus y. All right? So I am looking for this altitude x, but that comes next, okay? I do need to find out how this hypotenuse of the big triangle is divided up into two different parts. So again, the, um, the near part, the adjacent part is y, so that goes in any of the two places. And the other place is the entire hypotenuse, which we already know is 13.2. So we go ahead and cross multiply, and that would be 13.2 equals, just ignore my little hand there, 100 because that's 10 times 10. Now we divide each side by 13.2 and let's check out what we get. So y equals 7.57 repeating. Alright, so let's go ahead and call it um, five, uh, 7.5 8. Okay, maybe we only need to go to one place, but let's stick with that. All right, so this part right here is 7.58. All right, now the whole thing, whole hypotenuse from um, this top here to down here is 13.2, so now we just need to subtract to find out what this other part is. All right, so let's do that. 13.2, take away the 7.58, and you know what? Let's go ahead and, for the purposes of our problem, let's call this 7.6. All right, so 13.2 minus 7.6. All right, that's going to be 5.6. Okay, so we've got two parts of the hypotenuse figured out. Okay, that's pretty handy knowing that all we knew was the legs and the hypotenuse of the big triangle. All right, now we use the other geometric theorem, which says that the altitude, which we're going to call x, is the geometric mean between the two parts of the hypotenuse, which we just found. So 7.58 and 5.6. And Sorry, I've forgotten that we actually did round it. 7.6 and 5.6. So let's go ahead and cross multiply, and that'll give us x squared equals about 42.5. And we are going to take the square root of both of those sides, 
and our unknown altitude is going to be 6.5238. Uh, depends on how accurate we want to be, let's call it 6.5. Now just a quick note here to finish up. That's using the two geometric mean theorems with the altitude and the leg, okay? Notice that we could also, once we get this um, part of the hypotenuse, that's the leg of the smaller or the medium-sized triangle. This is the hypotenuse of the medium-sized triangle. I could use Pythagorean theorem to find this, which would be the other leg, okay? So it's kind of a combination between Pythagorean theorem and a couple of geometric theorems. So, hope that you understood that, and thanks for the question. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So, if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard, and take care.